Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Nurse Blake and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to rock your nursing clinical. If you're in nursing school, if you haven't started yet, I'm sure you're gonna start this week. So ask me any questions you want in relation to clinical, I am here to answer them. And if you're a nurse tuning in, feel free to give your tips and advice to all the students. I'm sure they would love it. I graduated nursing school back in 2014, and I still can remember the feeling of just anxiousness and nervousness before every clinical. I'm the person who, I don't know if you saw my video types of nursing students, but I'm definitely the anxious one. Like that is me. Like I was so nervous before each and every clinical that I'd be like worried to go to bed because I wasn't gonna wake up on time. And I would set like five alarms just to make sure that I was up and ready at clinical. So in this video, I'm gonna go through my tips so you can be successful in your clinical. So let's start with tip number one is be on time because you never want to be late. Being late is definitely not a good look. And your nursing teacher, your nursing instructor will probably send you home if you're not on time. And I know plenty of my nursing instructors did send people home. So if you're going to a new clinical site, make sure you get there early enough. So account for traffic. And if you need to go to Starbucks or if you hit the gym early, all right? I'm not the one who goes to the gym early, but I definitely need the Starbucks. And if it is a new clinical site, I highly recommend you go a few days before just to check out the location and how to get there. It's always better to be early than late, all right? And if you do get to a clinical site early, go ahead and study and prepare for the clinical. Hey guys, hey Douglas, hey Tan, thanks for tuning in. Share your tips below. And again, if you're a nursing student and in clinical, let me know what clinical you're in. All right, what do we have next? Okay, do your homework. So prepare before each and every clinical. Let's say you're doing clinical on a cardiac floor. You should know a little bit about that population, their medications, their procedures, discharge education. All right, you never wanna go into a clinical unprepared. And you should always be prepared, not just for you, but really for the patient. And just being prepared will help you in that the, the lecture about that clinical that you're in, and it'll help you for the NCLEX. So always, always, always do your homework. And if you get to clinical early, that's time where you could do homework and prepare. Hey, hey guys, it's 2018, I'm so excited. Who's in school right now? Is anyone graduating this semester? Is this your first semester? And if you guys, if you guys ever have any questions about nursing or nursing school, I'm here for you. So feel free to send me a message. If you have any questions about my videos you're watching, drop them in the comments and I try my best to respond to all of them. All right, next tip, bring your equipment. All right, that's stethoscope, pin light, drug guide, your shears or scissors, all right? You always wanna be prepared because when your instructor's going in with you for an assessment and you don't have all your stuff, like it's not good, it's not a good thing. So always make sure you have it with you. I always like to set my stuff aside and in my car really the day before um, because the morning of, you know, you're running out the door, you never wanna forget it all. So put it in your car or leave it in your car so you always have it and you're always prepared. Next tip, all right, ask questions. Nursing school is your chance to ask all the questions you want, all right? And really, there's not ever a bad question. Uh, you're paying for nursing school, right? You're paying to gain knowledge and skills. So if there's ever a question you have, feel free to ask it because really, that's what you're paying for. And if you feel like you know it all, if you're one of the nursing students in my video that knows it all, um, I challenge you to ask why for everything. So if you have a patient who's going into a procedure, ask why are they going into the procedure? If they're on a certain medication, why are they on that medication, all right? If the physician wants to change a dose, why are they changing a dose? And this will just help you inquire and learn more about the patient. Um, like I said, this is your chance to ask questions, so ask as many as possible. Um, and if you do ask why and you're not able to come to that conclusion on your own, that's when you need to ask either another nursing student, an instructor, another nurse on the unit. 
So never ever be ashamed to ask questions because uh, really when you're in nursing school, this is your chance. You have instructors around you, you have nurses around you. So ask, ask, ask. Hey guys, I hope to be coming live to you guys a lot more. I got a new setup here. In every video I post, my plan is to go live with you guys so I could answer your questions. Uh, what's next? Next tip, stay engaged. This is definitely one of the most important tips because in clinical, you may find yourself with downtime or the patients that you're caring for may not need anything at the moment. You can either do one of two things here. You can just hang out or you could try to learn more. All right, so make sure you're constantly engaged in your learning because I know I used to be in clinical. It's easy to just hang out with your friends when you're not busy or pretend like you're charting behind the computer. Or I know some of you will hide in the, um, not in the medication room, but the, the snack room, all right, where you get your water and your snacks and you like pop your phone out and you check your Facebook and your Instagram, all right? So instead of doing those things, I challenge you to always stay engaged. So if nothing's going on with your patients, I'm sure there's things going on with other patients. So ask to see certain procedures as they come up. Or if you have an opportunity to insert an IV, like ask for those. Ask your clinical instructor and ask the nurses on that unit because you guys, we're paying for nursing school. So we want to get the most out of it as possible. Let's see, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. How's it going? Maternity clinical on the 22nd. Any tips? Yes, these are all my tips. Be prepared. Definitely be prepared for that specific clinical that you're going to. And then always stay engaged and ask questions, all right? This is your chance to ask as many questions as possible. And be engaged. So always constantly look for things to learn, all right? And good luck on your clinical. Let me know how that goes. And then this is something I, for, I left out in my video I posted, and it's really, really important. Um, let me see. Show thanks. So if you have a great clinical experience, make sure you write letters. Write letters to your clinical instructor. Write letters to the nurses on the unit and just tell them thank you. Thank you for letting us be here and learn and observe and watch you guys. And it'll really help you stand out. And remember, if this is a unit that you want to apply to after nursing school, after you graduate, just writing a nice thank you letter will help you stand out. And it'll also make the nurses and clinical instructor feel really, really good. So that's definitely something I highly recommend. A handwritten note is a great way to always end your clinical and leave something for those nurses in the unit uh, that you are on clinical with. Hey, I have Lucy here. What's up, guys? Let me know where you're coming from. Where do you guys live? I currently live in Seattle, Washington. So I'm like way on the east coast of the United States. And if anyone is in the Washington state area, I will be at Legislative Day at the Capitol on January 22nd with the Washington State Nurses Association. So if you're there and you see me, come up and say hi. I would love to chat with you guys. And don't forget, I'm also on YouTube and Instagram. So feel free to subscribe to my channel and follow me out on Instagram. If you guys ever have any questions for me again about nursing school or about nursing, reach out. I'm here to help you guys. Uh, let's see, Tommy, that was me. I was always at least 30 minutes early. That, that was me too. Like I'm not the person who can get to clinical like five minutes early. Like I'm always like, 45 minutes, 30 minutes early. I think that's just the anxiousness in me wants me to be there like super, super early. So I always make time to get my Starbucks, all right? Vanilla latte every morning. Uh, and then I'll take my study tip or my study stuff and I'll study in the car beforehand. So yes, getting there early is awesome. What else? Who graduates in June? Yolanda, congrats. Graduate in June, that's awesome. It's such a big accomplishment. I bet you're so excited. And counting down the days. Let me know how many days until graduation. If you haven't started a countdown yet, you definitely should. So when I talk about engagement um, in clinical, it's not um, you have to be involved in everything. Engagement is always looking for learning opportunities because your hands-on experience in clinical is far better 
than things that you'll learn just from a textbook or in the classroom. So being with the patients and learning um, hospital policies and how everything works and med passes, um, those are things that you're not going to be able to learn from a textbook or in a classroom. So use your clinical time really wisely. Here, Abby, five months and four days. That's a, I love when people have countdowns. It like cracks me up. And some people will even have like, I graduate in like 505 days. And I'm like, you guys are great. You guys are all awesome. And you guys, thank you guys so much for following my page and sharing my stuff and commenting. You guys are all great. Uh, and you guys definitely inspire me to keep making more videos. What else do we have going on? Yes. I always couldn't sleep the night before. Scared the alarm wouldn't go off. That is so me. I was always so anxious and nervous the night before because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to wake up. I'm going to miss my alarm. So I would always set like two alarms on my phone. I would set my like clock alarm twice. I would set my iPad to go off. So <laughs> like, let's say if I had to get up at six, like alarms are going off from like 5.45 to 6.15. So I totally get you. I get that. Yes. All right, CJ, California, what's up? West Coast, how do you deal with nurses that are not so engaging and welcoming to nursing students? Well, hopefully that will only be maybe one or a few of them. So do note you do have other nurses on the unit. So if you have one that's getting a little, you're getting a little pushback from, share that with your clinical instructor and maybe they'll be able to intervene and help you out in that situation. Um, but if that's not going well, I definitely recommend you're in charge of your clinical time, all right? So you're in charge of what you can do. So I highly recommend you look for other engaging experiences or try to learn another spot on the unit if you're not learning with that particular nurse, all right? And then maybe just try to build rapport with them. Uh, you know, nurses on units get nursing students through a lot, a lot, a lot. And nurses are typically busy on the floor. So definitely try to build rapport try to be very nice and kind and curious and help them as much as possible because that'll help you and maybe that'll loosen them up and you guys will be able to get a rapport together so you'll be able to get through clinical easier. Great question, CJ, but that does happen, I get you. What else? I hear from Wyoming, first day of clinical today, third semester, Enrique. I hope it went really well. Where was your clinical at? I think my first clinical was in a nursing home. It was my very first clinical. And it was like right when we started nursing school, like we were in the nursing home. It was like only a matter of like two weeks or something. So they really threw us right in. All right, Sarah, what advice do you have for completing a skill you've never done before? Practice, practice, practice. Uh, if you do have a nice lab set up at your school, definitely utilize that and practice as much as possible. And then also watch videos on YouTube. I mean, YouTube's such a great resource and there's a lot out there for nursing students. So I highly recommend if you need to practice IV insertion, practice in the lab, like as many times as possible with an instructor, with a peer, and then watch videos on how to do it. And then if you want to practice that skill in real life, definitely let your professor or clinical instructor know, hey, I want to practice IV. So not just on my patients I'm caring for in clinical, but any patients on this unit, let me know if there's an opportunity for IV insertion. And then they'll be able to help you find those opportunities. And the more you practice, the better. I mean, skills, you don't just try it once and you pick it up. And every skill is different on every patient. Like just because you do IV insertion on one person doesn't mean you're going to be able to nail every single one because all the patients are different. Um, so definitely try to get practice in the lab, doing videos, and then once you're comfortable, practice as much as you can in real life at clinical. Let's see what else is going on. Hazel from the UK, been a nurse for three years and back at university for further training. That's awesome, I love that, I love when nurses you know, further their education. There's so much more that nurses can do um, as in terms of furthering their education. So if that's something you're ever interested in after you graduate from nursing school and you want to get some experience at the bedside and then go back to school, that's awesome. That's great. So good luck, Hazel. Thanks for the comments. <laughs> okay. I see Sarah too. 
Going into my second semester of nursing school, I'm always so nervous, but love the hands-on learning. I am so nervous too. Like I'm definitely the anxious one. Like I was nervous about everything in nursing school, but we could do two things with our nervousness. It can either defeat us or it could strengthen us. So I did everything in my power to try to control my anxiousness. Like if I'm worried about being late, I would always make sure I'm really, really early. If I was worried about turning in an assignment, I would make sure I would be ahead of the game and make sure I would do it really early and not wait till the last minute because then that would just make my anxiousness a lot worse. So always try to stay on top of things and try to prevent anxiousness when you know it can pop up. So good luck in your clinical. All right, I'm taking mine this week. So NCLEX, I do get a lot of NCLEX questions. So NCLEX, I use the NCSBN and they are actually the creators of the NCLEX. And my recommendation is you do as many practice questions as possible. Like you can't do enough practice questions. And if you get a chance and you want to do it through the NCSBN, I highly recommend it. It worked for me. And I know a lot of other nurses out there, they used it too, and it worked for them. So good luck studying. Do as many practice questions as possible, Caroline. You got it. And good luck. <laughs> I got a question. Couch for sale? <laughs> no, the couch isn't for sale, but just so you know, it is a love sack and I love it. I was living in Houston when I bought it and I took it with me to Seattle. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a great study couch too. <laughs> All right, what else? All right, I think that's it. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. I will be in the comments uh, the rest of the night. Happy 2018. Um, good luck to you guys who are in nursing school. Reach out to me. I'm gonna be going live on Instagram in a few minutes, probably in the next 15 minutes. So you can catch me over there on IG at Nurse Blake. And if you are on YouTube, come find my channel and click the subscribe button. Again, that's at Nurse Blake. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great clinical and I will chat with you later. Bye.